everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing the Goodreads tag. And I will link, if I can find it, I'll link the original down below. So question number one, what was the last book you marked as read? So I had to look this up. Um, the last book I marked as read was Trickster's Choice by Tamora Pierce. Um, I reread it this year, and that's not the last book I read, so I do need to update that. Um, but it's... I mean, if you don't know by now, she's one of my favorite authors. I reread most of her stuff at least once a year. I re-listen to it. So I just started with that one. Me and a coworker were talking about it and it got me and it got me in the mood to read. Question number two is what are you currently reading? So I am currently reading Tempest and Slaughter, the newest release by Tamora Pierce. Came out on February 6th. It follows the journey of Numer Samaline, who we meet in the Immortals series, whose main character is Dane. Um, but this follows his journey learning to be a mage and stuff like that. I am about three-fourths. No, I'm about two-thirds of the way through. Really loving it. Um, probably not one of my favorite ones she's done, but I still I, I enjoy everything she writes. And I'm also listening to The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Um, Hoping to have a review up of that soon. It's really fun so far. I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm only halfway, th oh, so maybe not so soon. I'm only halfway through, I think. Um, but it's it's a great listen so far. It's really fun. The narr There's only one narrator, but she does a really good job of distinguishing the different voices and giving them their own personalities and char characteristics so it doesn't, so you don't kind of forget who's talking if there isn't any like dialogue tags. Question three is what book do you plan on reading next? I have a hard time planning. I just kind of go on a whim. I'm gonna try to read The Killing Moon next because I, I did, it's one of my goals is to kind of prioritize that. But I've kind of been really in the mood to reread The Last Herald Mage series by Mercedes Lackey. So we'll see which one wins out. Question four is, are you doing a 2018 challenge? Yeah, I'm doing the, trying to read 45 books in a year. Number five is, do you have a wish list? I do. It's really long and it really needs to be updated because some of those things are like very, very old. Um, I guess I can link it down below. It feels really awkward to do so, but I guess I could do that. Question six is, what book do you plan on buying next? I don't really plan those. I just kind of buy on a whim, which is not the greatest strategy. Um, I did get an Amazon gift card for Christmas, so I will probably, and I do have birthday money, so I'll probably go through my wish list and maybe buy a few books. I'm trying really hard not to because I do have a really long backlist, but I, I honestly have no idea. Question seven is, do you have a favorite quote on Goodreads? No, I'm really bad about using Goodreads. Um, I'm trying to use it more at least to keep track of the books I've read, but I don't really use it for a lot of the other things that I should use it for. Question eight is who are your favorite authors? So no surprise, Tamora Pierce, Mercedes Lackey is definitely up there, L Lynn Fwelling, if you haven't checked out her Night Runner series or her Tamir Triad, would highly recommend them. Absolutely love the Night Runner series, actually, I haven't finished the Tamir Triad. I do need to get on that. Um, I really like Michael A. Stackpole's fantasy. He he's written a lot of like stories for like the Star Wars or Star Trek. Don't come at me. I'm not. Yeah, I know that's. I know they're different. I'm aware. I just don't know which one he wrote for. Um, I haven't read any of those, but I did really like his Dragon Crown cycle series and I really love Talion Revenant. Um, it's a standalone that he did. I talked about it in the five books to get to know me. I'll link that down below or in the eye and it was really good. I also love Kurt Benjamin. Um, he's only written like four books um, which is really sad because they were fantastic. Um, he wrote, okay I've only read three of the four, but he wrote the Seven Brothers trilogy and it starts with I think Prince of Shadows, and it goes Prince of Dreams, and then Gates of Heaven. And I read them way back in high school. And I'm rereading them, because I I know I've forgotten a lot. But they are just, they're based in ancient China, with fantasy, and like, gods, and it's just, the writing is wonderful. If you like epic, hearty, dense, wonderful fantasy, definitely pick them up. 
another author, which people might be surprised by, is I absolutely, I read a lot of, I don't know if she's one of my favorites anymore. She definitely was, was um, Linda Howard. She does mostly, fa um, she does mostly romance, which is a little surprising that she's on the list, but I found all her romances to be very different from each other. Um, I didn't really, you couldn't like read one and know the plot of another, like you can for some romance authors. So I would definitely give her a shot if you really like romance. Before that gets too long, I'm, I guess I'm going to cut myself off there. And question number nine is have you joined any groups? Yes, I have. Like I said, I'm really bad about using Goodreads other than like a tracker, but I am a part of the MM Romance group, which I actually haven't been active in in like years. I'm also part of the FY Tartal Book Club. I'm pretty sure it sounds for... Yeah. Um, I s joined Books for Trading, which I haven't really used yet, but I'm hoping to since I've been kind of clearing out my library and it'd be kind of nice to be able to trade it with books that I have that I don't want that other people want for something that I would like. And then I just recently joined the top five Wednesday one. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now!